Bye week, Grano week, really by my fellow Transformer fans. Monkey here again for another review. On the road to Easter, Seacon special. Before we go any further, some more shout outs. Tater Engine, thank you for subscribing. Gage and Ninja, hello sir. See you some of his reviews. Check him out. He's been away for a bit, but he's come back with a vengeance. And it's some really good stuff he does. Um, He's just become a YouTube partner as well, so ch check him out. Check out his stuff. He he's got some he's got some good stuff in there. Then we got Wash Shop Twenty Three. Uh, thank you, sir. Thank you for uh, joining us. Uh, he's done he's done loads of uh, loads of videos. He's been going for a while. And he comes up with Skyquake. Who I'm trying to find. I can't find him anywhere, man. I can't find Skyquake anywhere. It's annoying. But anyway. Yeah, check him out, watch him. I like your page, by the way. Very patriotic. I am a patriot myself. Liking it, liking it. Destruction Snake Pit. Hello, sir. Um, yeah, check his videos out. I just saw uh, Manta, the Manta Ray, um, Manta Force, Manta Ship. Oh, that's great. It brings me back with some memories down the old toys. There's some old school toys as well as Transformers stuff. Um, check him out if you're a lover of toys. You should check him out. He's got some really cool stuff. Today's number four. Are we on now? I think we're on number four. There you go. Two, three. Yeah, we're on four. Again, back on Transformers More Than Meets the Eye official guidebook. And we are talking about this one. We all have no one, or we've all met one. It doesn't matter. The one who needs a bit of deodorant. We've been AA. Those of you who've been AA know exactly what I'm talking about. We've always had one in school. Yes. Scale or, ladies and gentlemen. Bless him. Uh, scale or. Again, he comes with the same problem. That uh, overbite had. I keep wanting to say jawbreaker. That overbite had, which was the fact that <laughs> he's got arms and legs, and yeah, he's a fish. Ah, well, never mind. Um, he comes in different colours. This one. This is like a, a light blue turquoise with a light pink, a bright pink, a bit of yellow in the eyes. I like it. I really like the colour scheme. That's really nice. I do like it. Um, the guns on the top here hide the fin, unfortunately. There's the fin. I do like it. It's very nice. Um, and the detail as well. Oh, the detail. Look at the scales on there. You want me to call scale off or nothing? Oh, yeah, I like it. It comes with these crustacean guns. One shoots out a goo, the other shoots out like a shard, shards that stick to it and immobilize the key, uh, your target. And then he combines into a slime cannon, uh, which I'm going to show you now, the slime cannon. Just, oh! oh dropping things again. So I suppose this would be quite good to use for uh, Piranicon when he's chasing something that's fast, like me and be Cleo. He can just get, glue me and keep me there and catch up with his 15 mile per hour slow ass thing. So, so um, again, it's it's like uh, Overbite, where you just basically move the head out, uh, bend the head up, and bring the robot head out. And that's the gun. And I like that one. It's like, you know, the double barrel thing. I like it. I love the colours, man. I really like the colours. Garish and almost G2. Almost. I <laughs> think pretty much is G2, isn't it? But yeah, very nice. I do like it. I like to keep that fin up a bit. Nice. So, uh, yes, I use him as a foot. He's best off with a foot. I mean, these things are designed so that they can go and become... Because they're, they're based off the uh, Scramble City combiners. But because of their garish alt modes, there's so much 
cable that's sticking off them. That only certain figures only work certain ways. Like you wouldn't have. I don't. I don't know how how this works, but Tentacill is a leg. Um, he's big. That's why, and he's got short little stubby things. So, but you couldn't use Sea Wing, or you couldn't use um, Nautilator as a leg. Just not feasible. However, this is uh, scale or oops. Hang on. It's fist. <laughs> yeah, he is a slob. He doesn't look after himself. He doesn't keep himself clean. People say, uh, give him advice, you know, you could do this, you could fix this. It's just a little problem. That see, he has an oil leak all the time, but he doesn't care. He doesn't see why it's a problem. And it's kind of like no later where they don't want to combine with him because they don't like him. This guy, they don't want to combine with him because he's all icky. And greasy and awful. And due to that, he breaks down regularly. And that's his weakness. Um, but he's very tough. In all modes, very tough because of his scaly exterior. Um, but he leaks everywhere. He's got like a vacuum thing on his mouth that he clamps onto hulls of ships. And then his diamond sharp night blade uh, teeth just jump away at this hull and drink out the fuel and stuff. Um, but yeah, uh, articulation, he has bends at the elbow like overbite and he has movement in the arm and that is it. For a close up of the bot's head. There we go. Not bad. Paint's wearing away already. And this is the artwork, the scale art. There we go. I'm going to pause that and read that. Again. And again. Um, colours are great. Um, articulation, same as Overby. Um, he's pretty much like Overby. Okay. Again. Articulation in alt mode, not supposed to have limbs, but does. Uh, but I like his colours better. That looks better than that, I believe. Um, so that, that's that's my take on it. That's my view, and I'm allowed. So that is my review on G1 C C Con Scalor, and this is Monkey saying. Thanks for watching. Be good to yourselves and each other. Take care. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.